How's it going guys? I'm kind of doing something a little bit different today. I'm um, basically I'm recording my desktop and I'm going to show you how I do my basic edits because I don't like all this flashing effect. I don't like all this like zoom in zoom out shit or anything like that. I just like the basic effects. So we're going to throw the song in here. Now I'm not sure how loud this is gonna be for you, but for me it's it's fairly loud. But you've got all the beats there, what you need. So while we're doing this, I'm just gonna press M to mark it on the song where the beat is. So as we're going along you're gonna see like a little orange thing. So it's gonna be Right, that will do for now, and what we're going to start off by doing is adding in a cinematic. Now, you can find these all over YouTube, it's not hard to find any of them whatsoever. See, now we've got this one in, you can see the soldier's like half dead there, so we're just going to go in and just make it a little slower, so when he does drop, it's... A slower drop if you know what I mean and we're gonna just disable the resample because you always have to disable the resample otherwise your video looks kind of terrible so we're gonna go like that and then it as the beat kicks in it's gonna go into the clip right so it's gonna go now we don't need all this clip right we just need the part where he jumps out the window. So we're going to go from there because he's running in. And we're just going to save this little bit here, right? So with this little bit right here, we're just going to go over to here and drag it out that small little bit. Just to add like the little effect, right? So it's going to be like this and then it's going to fade into it. And I think I might drag it out just a little more. So now we've got this. And then as soon as he shoots, like we're going to see the bullet like that, right? So we're going to need the sound effect for the DSR. And in order for that, so it's going to be there like that, right? And then we don't need this bit now. We don't need that bit. So it's just going to go, just that little, see now he shoots off beat there, I think, no he shoots on beat so we don't have to sync that up which is really good for us, so we're going to just go ahead and after the reload, to be honest we don't need that reload, for now anyway, so we're just going to split that there. By the way, to split things, you just press S, which I'm hoping most of you know. And we're just going to cut it into here. So we don't need none of that, so you can just delete that off. Now, we've got this little bit here where it goes like this. See? And then we need it to... Right, it's a little harder to tell where he shoots, so it's there where he shoots. So we need this bit here to be synced up with this bit here. So we're just going to move that on a little bit and then we're just going to drag that there like that. Now we need the DSR again. But the thing with this little clip here. So it's going to go. See that's perfectly fine like that. But now we've got. Basically what we're going to do now, we're going to add some color corrections. Now, this is the main one that I use, but at the same time, we're not going to use that because all this does is add that little tiny effect up here, watch. It just makes it a little darker. So we don't need that whatsoever. What we're going to use is, I'm thinking of blue. 
Yeah, because the blue makes the map look a lot better. Yeah, we're going to use blue. Right? So you just drag this down onto each little part of it. And now all of this should be color corrected and it should be blue. Now, as he's reloading there, we're just going to move on just that tiny little bit like that couple frames extra delete this off because we don't need that whatsoever and we're gonna go into the next clip but in order for the next clip I'm not gonna add the cinematic in yet because we're gonna transfer over straight into the next clip which is this one here now I will put the guys YouTube in the description whose clips I'm using because it's not fair me taking ownership because none of these are my clips whatsoever So I'll put his channel in the description right so now what we are doing now is we are going to Just make that fade in a little right and then we're just gonna actually we're going to make a fade in here because we don't need none of that because that's just leading up to the shot. So we're just going to make a fade in a little there. It's going to go across like this. He's jump. Remember what I said? Disable the resample because otherwise it's going to look terrible when you render it. So now we're going to zoom out, find out where he shoots. And he shoots there. Right? Now, as you can see, that's a little off the beat right there. And I know my markers are a bit crap, but let's not pay attention to my markers. No, he actually shoots there. Right, just get rid of the volume straight off on that. Because we are going to make him shoot here. So in order for that to happen, we need it there like that. So it's going to go. Right. So here it's going to go fade into this one. And then, yep, yeah, that's literally perfect at the minute. So now we're going to do this and he shoots there and we don't need this bit here. Don't need that bit all the way up until this bit here right just get rid of that don't need it and where does he shoot on this one here there right so we are going to need we're gonna need the DSR bullet here but we're gonna make him shoot here because that's where the base drops there so or we can leave it to where he shoots actually here because it don't really matter because it's a slow part of the song. So it's just... Which actually that sounds alright. So just delete that like I said. Now go into your color correctors. This is a default color corrector so you should all have it. All of what watch this video anyway. And see on this reload bit here. We're going to split that there, drag this out, make it fade off there, like that. And then we're going to make the song actually fade off as well. So it's just going to fade off with the clip. So it's going to go like this. See, nice little simple. Now, if you want to get into, like, actually making... Right, I'm just going to delete all these now because we don't actually need them. Now, I have no idea how you delete all of them at once, but we're going to delete them all, basically. So, if I just... Right then. There we go. All deleted. Now... If we want to, I don't know, uh, make it a little sharper with the video. Now, I've got this preset already. So, if I add this on, it will increase your rendering time, right? But, it's better for you. And, in order to get this uh, sharpen, all you gotta do is go to your default one. And then put the sharpen at 0 0.05, right? 
that sharpens the video so it makes it look more crisp which is perfect for YouTube now because they actually allow 60 frames per second so like I said just drag it onto every single last little bit right here and I forgot one thing that I was gonna do so you know this bit where I sped it up uh, slowed it down even just get rid of that with I wasn't meant to do that so here it's gonna go like that so there we're actually gonna add this last cinematic in which I kinda forgot a little bit about I'm not gonna lie so we don't need that bit there so we're just gonna fade this in so it goes like that and then obviously do the same fade off effect and just a little fade off there uh, just, just do that get rid of the music now and fade it off there so it fades off with it and do the exact same thing again we need that and then we need the color corrector like that and that's pretty much it I'm gonna render this out and play it at the end of the video, so if you all did enjoy this video, please leave a like and I'll do more like this. But, it's like I said, I just do basic edits like this. And, I don't really like all this fancy editing, so this is what I do, and if you like it, then you can copy it, or by all means, and bring back old school editing. If you don't like it, then that's your own opinion but i'll also, i'll see you all in the next video bye